everyone welcome to this week's open boat today i wanted to show you guys something pretty special and cool it's a little behind the scenes work for some winter projects that i do so i don't know if you know this but i build my own rides i love building custom rods it's a lot of fun the science behind it and everything guide alignments math for figuring out where the guides are gonna go and doing decorative wraps i love doing closed decorative wraps but i wanted to take the time to show you something specific i'm doing for this white rod right here. I call it the koi fish rod because I was gifted custom koi fish grips. So what I wanted to do, I was struggling to find a decorative wrap that would look nice in this back area. And I am doing marbling now to it. Marbling is a good beginner's decorative wrap for people just getting into rod building and they don't wanna deep dive into closed decorative wraps like I did. So my marbling is a little bit different compared to how traditional marbling rod builders do it. Mine's more abstract. So what I did was basically I want to match the scale seen on the koi fish grips to match it onto that piece so it looks like one big koi fish. So I'm going to go through like just the quick steps of how to marble your rod. So to start, you can order your marbling kits on mud hole and they come with a ton of different colors and a very informative instruction sheet on how to marble. So to start, you take your epoxy, you mix per ratio for two minutes, and then you're gonna spread that epoxy on the area of the broad blank where you are going to be marbling. Following that, you take the leftover epoxy, a couple nickel sizes of it, and mix in that color pigment, like I did orange for mine. Once that's been mixed, you move back to the rod that's spinning on the drying rack to keep that epoxy even. And if you were doing normal marbling, you would want to have that rod spinning the whole time. But for mine, I had to slow it down to blot down those little paint spots of the orange mix. And then you can do another coat of epoxy on top of that and put more on top. What's cool with regular marbling is like you can put as many colors down as you want and literally like take a toothpick and manipulate the paint and create these cool interesting patterns but it's really cool to showcase some little funky flares to your own custom rods so definitely look into marbling look into decorative wraps and see what you can do to spice up your next custom build